Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com back today with another cryptocurrency video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Rayblocks, giving you all an update on what's been happening with exchange listings, the price, the fundamentals, and just really talk about everything that concerns Rayblocks in the short term. I also have some great news for you all. I have been a supporter of Rayblocks since, since it really started taking off, you know, around six dollars I think. I was really the first cryptocurrency YouTuber to come out and back Rayblox. I'm very happy that I did. I, I really think that we've already seen it grown a lot. There's only more to come at this point. So I wanted to officially announce that I will be adding Rayblox to every single daily crypto update from here on out covering the technicals and news every single day for Rayblox. If you're interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll be coming soon. Other than that, let me just give a quick shout out to my premium content. If you're interested in monthly cryptocurrency buying opportunities or five high return cryptos for your 2018 portfolio, I have a link to all that in the description of this video. But let's get back to the Rayblox update. To start off, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about just the numbers here going through what's been going on. So we're currently ranking at the 17th spot on coinmarketcap.com, growing nicely, 3.6 dollars in market cap hanging right under $30 right now uh, volume still a little bit on the lower side but that's mainly because of everything we're seeing with the exchanges um, just slowing things down a little bit we can see that we've been in a, a bit of a consolidation here after the big run-up which is completely normal and you know that's kind of to be expected almost the good thing is that the Binance listings should come soon that'll definitely affect the price in some way. Now, I am going to tell you what I think is gonna happen in this video. I'm gonna get back to that in a second. For the time being, we're consolidating a little bit. The Binance listing should come within a week or two. There's no specific date, but from most predictions that I've seen, that's around a reasonable time frame. That can definitely uh, you know, get us out of this consolidation. Now, to talk a little bit more about the exchanges, the list has grown a lot. Remember, just not long ago at all, we were only really on BitGrail and Mercatox. Uh, most of the volume was coming from BitGrail. Things have already changed changed a lot, right? We, we got a lot of new additions. We, Coin Falcon, BitZ, and of course KuCoin is now the biggest. So those are all great in the long term. That should definitely help things. We didn't really see any price spikes because of getting on these exchanges just yet. But in the long term, from what I've seen, it definitely helps cryptocurrencies, right? That's pretty obvious. To, to get into some, some news here, uh, just going to talk a little bit about the, the subreddit. It's still been growing a lot, over 40,000 subscribers now. That is a very big number in the cryptocurrency space, and it's still growing a lot. Like I said, a lot of active users, still a very active community, so no worries there. What's happening with exchanges right now is it just seems like there's you know some growing pains as far as Rayblox goes, right? Getting used to, to this high volume and everything is creating some slight problems over Overall, it's nothing to worry about. The Rayblox development team is very proactive about this, always reaching out to these exchanges, trying to get things fixed as soon as possible. And that's what's happening right now with KuCoin. So they had some issues with deposits and withdrawals for XRB, they they actually fixed the deposit issue. As far as the withdrawals, it looks like they, they just have some, some syncing issues, right, uh, with the Rayblox node, and mostly because of the high volume. They they already have a fix for this that should be rolling out in the next day, though. We're, we're seeing these problems, you know, BitCreal had some issues like this. Now it's KuCoin. Uh, overall, though, it is a good thing, and, and as you can see here, the top comment is um, that it's good that these, these bugs are getting fixed before we're on Binance, right? So so as we get more used to, to all this, we should see these type of problems get minimized as as, as fast as possible and really in the long term like I said this should not even be a problem right we won't even have to worry about this stuff it's because Rayblox is a cryptocurrency that works a little bit differently from most other cryptocurrencies it is a DAG coin and that just creates some different integration with exchanges so exchanges are getting used to that new integration basically just to simplify things a lot <laughs> let's get right into the the price here so I do hold Rayblox um, just a general disclosure there I bought in at around $9, still haven't sold a single XRB. I don't planning on doing so until quite some time. You know, I'm pretty much in it for the long term at this point. To talk a little bit about what's happening with the price, we can see that, of course, we had our big run up. This is just a KuCoin um, graph. So we had our big run up and KuCoin, you know, recently got listed. So it doesn't show that big run up. We, we've been uh, consolidating now. What we see, though, is a very interesting formation, a very bullish formation, actually. Uh, and it also plays very well with my kind of theory on what's going to happen with the Binance listing. So I might as well get into that now. I think that you've probably seen a lot of things about what might happen with the Binance listing. People saying that it might sell off, could spike, obviously, stuff like that. I don't think we're going to see a sell off, to be honest, because we, we, we got a kind of a sell the news event after the Binance vote was over. The price fell back lower. Now the Binance, the whole Binance thing is pretty much priced in. You could say that the most likely scenario is that the price would just kind of get st be pr relatively stable when it gets listed on Binance. Uh, I definitely think that's a pretty likely scenario 
From what I've seen though, after big listings like that, the price is usually pretty stable and, and then slowly but surely maybe a month after things really start picking off and it's pretty much off to the races from there. So that is definitely a likely scenario. Like I said, I don't see um, really a, a strong possibility of us dropping just because we've already had this pullback, right? The One of the reasons why I think we could definitely see a, a big spike, you know, that would push us above $50 when we get listed on Binance is because Rayblocks, you have to remember compared to a lot of these other cryptos, is a very hot crypto currency right now. Uh, you can see that by the, the subscriber growth on the subreddit and just all over. A lot of eyes on Rayblox. People absolutely love it from what I can see. It is a hot cryptocurrency so I think that we could definitely see a scenario where a lot of people that didn't weren't able to buy it on Bitgrail for whatever reason, stuff like that, jump on the opportunity when it's on Binance. So I do think a spike is possible. Could it drop? Of course. I don't think that's the, the most likely scenario at this point. I think we're either going to consolidate a bit more or pretty much see a, a spike right when we get listed. That plays very well with the, the pattern that's in play here as far as the technicals go, because we're what's it looks like we're in a, a uh, sorry a cup, and hand, cup with handle formation. And just to talk a little bit what that is, if you're not aware of it, it's a, a chart formation where, you know, the price basically starts rounding back up and it kind of forms like a, a cup like a teacup pull back a little bit near the the previous resistance level and then we get a massive breakout usually that's a very very strong pattern that usually plays out kind of in the midterm and that's exactly what's happening right now with with Rayblox. if i can get back to the chart here we're getting this rounded bottom coming back up slowly but surely and just to go ahead and, and put in some some more technicals here we have of course some resistance right here at around this 220,000 satoshi level let me go ahead and put this in in red make it a bit bigger so you guys can see that better and that's going to be a level that we want to make sure we break out of otherwise a couple more of these so over here i'm just going to throw another one in and then the official one as far as the the real cup with handle formation would be the previous high right now so on this graph at least it would be all the way up here at 290,000 Satoshis. So normally trend along this, this curve until we get there and then little pullback where we would then break out uh, with a lot of strength, right? I would say even here, we could already get that strong breakout over here near this 258,000 Satoshi level. We could already see that that big breakout happen. But overall, it's it's looking good here, right? This, like I said, it's a very powerful formation. It, it just takes a little bit of time to pan out. That makes sense, right? With the Binance listing, you have to remember that. With that being said, um, this is pretty much all I wanted to update you all on as far as Rayblox is concerned here in the short term. Just to recall, I, I will be adding it to every daily crypto update. So make sure you subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.